In these walls of despair, there are only a few basic emotions. And a chemist with the right tools can create the one that could save your life while you wait. Please welcome Mrs. Nancy Kress and illustrators of the future judge, Val Lindon. An ALA, author of These Walls of Despair, was raised in Wisconsin, where she sells real estate. When she isn't advising clients on how well a potential home could be defended during the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> she can be found running the Strange Horizons podcast or writing reviews for Publishers Weekly. Her short fiction has appeared in such places as Lightspeed, Apex, Daily Science Fiction, and Waylines. Her long fiction is currently looking for a home. Please congratulate author Anaya Lay. So I don't actually know whether anybody at the contest knows this because I'm a really bad person and forgot to tell them, but my very first story submission when I was 16 was to this contest. <laughs> I'd done my million words. I'd been writing for 12 years. I clearly had this figured out. I was going to submit to them. I'd be the youngest winner ever. Nobody would deny my brilliance. <laughs> I'm 28 now. That's the beginning of the story of how I got here. Um, and the story of this whole process isn't done yet, obviously, because I'm not done yet. Uh, and I don't speculate on where things are going unless you're paying me at least five cents a word. <laughs> but what I do know is that this particular chapter has been formed very strongly by not just this week, but all of the things that led up to it. This year is going to be a huge year of transition for me, and having to come out to this contest has provided the catalyst that let me figure out what my priorities are and what I need to do in order to get what I need to be happy. And I'm very grateful for that. I didn't submit to this contest again after the incident when I was 16 where they failed to see my brilliance for a very long time. I learned a lot in the meantime. One of the things I learned though was as I talked to other writers how important this contest is to them. There are people who dream of writing, of winning this contest. They write four stories a year, they submit every quarter, and they wouldn't write at all if they didn't have this as a thing to aim for. And it's watching those stories that really drives home to me what a very big deal this is and leads to how very honored I feel to have um, achieved something that so many people want so much. It also makes it very touching when I see how many people work so hard and devote so much time to this contest and to each of those people who are focused so much on what the writers and illustrators need in order for this to be meaningful to them and to launch them to where they need to go. You have my sincere thanks. <laughs> to my sister back in Richmond, where all of my family is, who went to bed about two hours ago and isn't watching. <laughs> Man, I would have said something to you if you were awake. <laughs> And then last but not least, to my best friend Carl, who's came out here. I would not have made it to this week if you weren't there keeping me sane. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everyone. Good evening. This is amazing. 
Bernardo Mota. Bernardo Mota, illustrator for These Walls of Despair, was born in Portugal. His short comic won the second place in a contest for his age range, and he was formally honored as a young talent by his hometown the next year. He is now in his last year of high school and is very excited about what the future holds for him. Please congratulate this epicyclic artist, Bernardo Mora. everyone. Uh, this is amazing. This contest is amazing. This last week was one of the greatest weeks in my life so far. Uh, I'm so grateful to man so many people. Uh, I want to thank our services, Galaxy Press. Joni did an amazing job preparing all of this. I thank the judges for their workshops and the ones that decided that for some reason I, I uh, beer. And <laughs> Uh, the present winners, the last winners, like the, the past winners, they were so inspiring, motivational, uh, and all my friends, my family, they're being so supportive. Uh, I'd also like to thank the online art community, you guys know who you are, and Rhiannon Taylor for telling me about the contest. Thank you.